Hi, I am Diktajit Basak from India, from the vibrant city of Kolkata. Well, I have been living here for six years and today I'm not speaking as a student anymore. Today I am a doctor. I stand here as Dr. Diktajit Basak. So why Ukraine? Well, first and foremost, Ukraine has been a forefront and a step ahead. It has been a forefront decision of my life, coming and gathering up the courage to be here in this country. Well then, why Ukraine? One, it's safe. It's the crown jewel of Europe. And also the education system of this country excels in any other cities and countries that I've ever been to. Also, Ukraine is known as one of the best countries that former Soviet Russia had to offer, politically, economically, and also education-wise. For all of these, this endeavor for six years that I have been here for, I would like to thank Dr. Tarun Handa for his utmost support, unparalleled peering, mentoring, and being there as a friend, philosopher, and guide. Dr. Tarun Handa had not just been a person who gave me the opportunity to study here. He has been as a constant friend, and also at the same time, he has provided me all the opportunity that one can possibly have. Bogomolas National Medical University stands as number one university in Ukraine, and it's not just about the quality of education here. It's also about the teaching quality, the opportunities given to students, and also at the same time, the exposure that a student can get. Bogomolis National University makes you an all-rounder, not just a doctor who goes to his work, treats patients. Bogomolis makes you human. It makes you humane and it makes you holistic. The doctors here, the professors and the lecturers strive harder every day to give you an all-rounder knowledge. It, and it's not just about how to excel in your profession. It's about excelling as mankind, excelling as a better human, as a better person. Edufax India gave me the opportunity to come to this country six years ago, and I was skeptic. And I thought I would be alone. I'm a foreigner in this country. But after I stepped onto the ground of Kyiv, my worries and my dedication suddenly vanished. I found myself at home, and I found myself being comfortable at ease. People here are friendly. People here are very open. They love us being here in their own country, providing them with the opportunity to know us and also giving us the opportunity to know them. All of this had been made possible by Edufax India. I cannot thank them enough for the endeavor, for the exposure and the, and the opportunity that they gave me and made me stand here today speaking to you all as a doctor. I don't know what will gonna happen tomorrow, which direction I'll head to, but all I know that I have to strive to seek and not to yield. Talking about Kyiv, this city is beautiful, vibrant, it's colorful and it makes you feel at home instantly the moment you step here. Kyiv is a mixture between gracefulness of old Europe and also the panache and the chic of new Europe, the developing economy and also the people. Kyiv gives you whatever you deserve and you have to earn it and it's also deserving and rewarding to be in this vibrant city, the crown jewel of Europe. Being a student of Bogomolis National Medical University has not just given me an exposure, it has also given me the endeavor and the opportunity to expose myself in media, the culture and the educational strata of this wonderful country. I have been a research scholar, a student researcher and also interning in the various hospitals and got unparalleled skills and exposure of various departments in medicine. Edifax India just does not take care of their students as a student. They cater to them as human beings giving them an all-round approach and exposure and also covers them from all sides, preparing them from all possible situations. I cannot thank Edufax India enough because they made it possible for me to stand here as a medical practitioner, as one of the elite person of this society, and also being a part of the elite profession called medicine. Thank you so very much.